Hey friends, I'm here with Paul again. <laughs> you can say hello. Hello. <laughs> You're so weird. Vlog life. Vlog life. Vlog life. You just got your hoodie uh, tie-dyed. I just got this hoodie tie-dyed. What does yeah. everybody think of it? It's pretty nice. It used to be white. Now it's like pink and all that. We well, used and to be white with a bunch of stains. And yeah, we exactly. A, we have a really cool friend who she tie-dyes stuff called psychedelic. Yeah. So. We're both on our way right now to work out of the office. Paul is going to be working on um, a few of his, his businesses. And on Paul's stuff. On Paul's stuff. And I'm going to be working on... Tiff stuff. Tiff stuff. Um, yeah, so just to get out of the house will be nice. Change of scenery. Uh, and what else? Oh, I wanted to tell you. So I'm also going to be... This vlog is going to be focused around me kind of talking to you a little bit about... Um, you know, I'm starting to learn blockchain, diving in the world of blockchain for programming. I think it's, you know something that's super in demand and just going to become more and more in demand and I'm really interested in it. I know Paul from an investing standpoint um, is in that world but I want to get into it more from a uh, programming side of things so I'm going to be sharing with you today courses I'm looking into taking kind of why I'm learning blockchain what exactly it is and um, kind of diving into to the world of blockchain. Okay, so we're still driving and I wanted to do something fun with you. Are you ready? Fun for who? You or fun for me? You know what? It's fun <laughs> for both of us. Okay, uh, so I'm going to ask you some coding kind of related questions and I want to see how you do. But very, very, it's going to be very like, come on. Okay, first question. Uh, how many programming languages can you list off? Go. Python, Java, JavaScript, SQL. Node.js. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah, I'm tapping out there. Those are the only ones I can remember here. You, you know what? About. That's pretty impressive. You did pretty good there. I gotta say. For a guy who can barely run his email, <laughs> this is it's true. not too bad. Um, what piece of technology am I most looking forward to coming out right now? The big laptop, the 17 inch or whatever the biggest size laptop from Apple is with the M1 processor. This is correct, this is correct. Um, what's another question I can ask you? Um, what do I do when I'm stuck on a coding ticket? Huff and puff, <laughs> and maybe some swearing coming from the This office. is correct, yes, yes. Um, what else is another? What would you explain, how would you explain what I do? Tiffany's nine to five. What do I do? Um, she gets on a bunch of different calls with a bunch of different people that she's never met. This is and, true. And um, because she started her job during COVID, COVID. basically last year. And uh, no, she's building, uh, building and updating a website for a big international client uh, yeah. for, her, for her day job. Yeah. So she'll be working on a certain aspect and other parts of her team are working on other aspects and then together it all comes together. Yeah. And what do I call those things? Like, tickets. <gasps> and what, like, how do I know the difficulty of the ticket or the effort? What do we do? Like, By how much swearing there is. <laughs> By we vote. By the, the numbers we give the ticket. Well, yeah, you rate the ticket. The team yeah. has to get together and rate the ticket. Yes, yes. See, Paul, you could basically be a new employee. Yeah, I'm sure I'd be really of a value. <laughs> you would just boss people around. Yeah, I'd just be like, oh, somebody get over here and help me. <laughs> oh, okay. That and then we have blockers. We know what a blocker is. Does everyone out there know what a blocker is? Explain a blocker. Well, a blocker is something that requires a lot of swearing and means that <laughs> you can't go forward with your code until the blocker has been fixed and it prevents you from doing any other work. Mm -hmm. So then you basically just spin around in your chair in circles and s swear at the screen until somebody helps you. Until someone helps you. Okay, there you go. Yeah. That's, that's a blocker. Is, that is a blocker. And what do I have every morning? Do you know what those are called? I don't know if I've told you what they're called. Like, a tantrum? No. <laughs> what meeting do I have every morning? Oh, a scrum? Um, stand up, a stand up. A stand up, mm -hmm. okay. And what do What's I talk? A scrum. Um, I thought scrum was in rugby. Scrum. Did you say the word scrum before? Uh, don't lie. I don't really know 
how to explain a scrum to you right but now. It, I'm not making this up, right? No, it is a, it is a terminology. I'll yeah. put it down here what it is because I'm blanking right now. Oh, God. I know. I'm about as good as you. Um, See, we got a blocker on the scrum. We got a blocker on the scrum. Um, okay, so in my meeting every morning, I cover uh, what I did yesterday, what I'm doing today, and if I have any blockers. Correct. Mm -hmm. yeah, it sounds like she works on the Starship Enterprise. All I hear is like, I worked on TZ701-9. I had a blocker on F97. I'm not sure if she's an air traffic controller or a software developer half the time. Anyways, that concludes our uh, Tiff and Tech uh, quiz. This is Thanks what happens when you don't prepare me for the questions. I just do whatever I want. But if you were prepared, would you, would you have done anything different? Probably not. <laughs> you and talk a little bit about why I kind of started to dive into the world of blockchain um, and the courses I'm taking and if you are interested you can kind of take the courses with me I'm going to be including some of them of my learnings in my weekly vlogs to stay up to date with you guys um, as to how the courses are going Paul started doing some and well not started but has been doing some investing in blockchain different um, cryptocurrencies and dealing with it more from a business standpoint and I was really interested from a programmer standpoint like actually building it um, although I think it has a long way to go until it's mainstream as far as it's what we're using in our everyday lives or maybe it doesn't I just really see it as part of the future and I want to be part of that future so I started by really just googling what are the best blockchain courses going into it really open-minded um, I'll put up on the screen here some of the courses that I found. So I literally just Googled best blockchain courses. One of the courses that uh, kept on coming up was the Udacity uh, blockchain course that is a nano degree. I did a poll on my Instagram as to if people recommended taking that course or not. And I got a lot of people saying to not take it. So I kind of am staying away from it for now just for that reason. But some people who have taken it said it's really good. So I'm kind of confused. Um, and I thought rather than jumping into a nano degree or kind of doing that formal education, just doing something more less formal, I guess you could say, such as a Udemy or YouTube course. So I went to 10, where was it here? This one, 10, 10 best blockchain courses and certifications in 2021. 20, um, and I really liked how this one kept on coming up here, the uh, Udemy one, blockchain A to Z. Also, there was some ones by, where is it? Is this one here? Pluralsight, Pluralsight, I mean, has great courses too, so I think it's probably really good. Coursera. So I'm gonna start by taking the, or I started by taking the blockchain A to Z, learn how to build your first blockchain. I'll pull it up here. So right now it says $159, but I always get like a little discount code. Um, go online and just Google different discount codes. So I get it for way cheaper. And I like this course because it really starts with the fundamentals. So why it's important, create a blockchain, understand the theory behind it. Um, and it's not, how long is it? Oh yeah, it's 14 and a half hours, but where is it? Here we go. So you can see here, um, you know, from novice to focus on doing, not just listening, um, real world applications, you'll develop, provide starting point to rapidly expertise, everything you build, da, da, da. Anyways, so it seems like a really great course. So I'm gonna start with this course and kind of dive into it. I mean, it has 61,000 students and, you know, out of 11,000 ratings, it's a 4.6. So clearly they are doing something right. So I'm going to be taking you along with me every week um, and updating you on my learnings and really how it's going, starting from you know the basics as to what it exactly it is to where I'm at in my learnings and uh, sharing that with you. So hopefully you can find it valuable and uh, useful too. But kind of going back to why I'm learning it, I'm going to list off some reasons right now as to why I'm putting my energy and focus towards it. The first one being the salaries for blockchain developers are is kind of off the charts and I think it will continue to 
climb in salary as the profession becomes more and more in demand. Um, obviously, I don't want to be solely motivated by money, but I think too, it's building such a huge part of our future. And as I mentioned earlier, I just want to be part of that. So those are my main two reasons. Um, and I think it's going to touch a lot of different industries too, which is so important. And um, as I mentioned just now, I just want to keep on being part of uh, building those kind of industries and seeing what's out there. I'm just really curious. Okay. Hi friends. I am back. I, uh, Paul and I went for a little walk and, um, now I'm working outside on the patio. We have blankets everywhere because the dogs like to come on here too. Um, I got this little standing desk. I don't know if you can see it and it's amazing. It's obviously not the same as having, you know, uh, a full desk set up and having monitors and things like that, but it's still so nice. I love it. Finally, summer is here. Anyways, um, to kind of wrap it up, I'm going to be taking you throughout further or future vlogs on um, more into my journey into blockchain. Um, I hope through this video, though, you have an understanding as to why I'm learning it and that I really think it's going to be very in demand, well, it already is, a uh, role and it's building a lot of our future. And as always, I just want to be a part of it. So I'm excited to share with you in upcoming vlogs. Um, my learnings, what I learned this past week in it, and all of that. I am taking the Udemy course that I showed you, so um, if anyone wants to follow along, I'll link it down below so you can kind of follow along with me and kind of go from there. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments other things you want to see in these vlogs, and um, I will see you all soon.